<laughs> All right, guys. Uh, moving on from that question. Uh, so the coefficient of performance of the fridge. Now you you need to assume a steady operating condition. So if there are no crazy temperature fluctuations. Um, so this is a pre global warming question. Uh, your COP of the refrigerator is your QL, which is the heat being removed um, over the net amount of work. So it's 360 kilojoules per minute over 2 kilowatts, and you need to make sure everything's in uh, seconds, so you convert the 360 to uh, seconds uh, by divide by 60, and you get a COP of 3. What that means is for th every three kilojoules of heat removed, uh, you're consuming one kilojoule of wet energy. Yeah. So this is where I was getting at with free energy. So you're only using three, uh, one kilojoules, but you're effectively gaining three kilojoules. Now, this is not because you're producing heat, it's just because you're moving it around. Um, the rate of heat rejection to the room that houses the refrigerator. Now, you know that uh, you know about conservation of energy in a cyclic device. So your total QH equals QL, the amount of heat you're removing, plus the amount of work input. So you're producing 400 kilo, uh, 80 kilojoules per minute. So uh, you're removing this package of heat from inside the fridge and also you're putting this work in so that needs to, that work is converted to heat so all of that will be dissipated in the room so if you live in a small house and you have a big fridge and a lot of food in there you can probably heat up your house using your fridge now let's try another question a heat pump is used to meet the heating requirements of a house uh, and maintain it at 26 degrees uh, sorry 20 degrees celsius on a, on a day when the outdoor air temperature drops to 2 degrees. Uh, the house is estimated to lose heat at a rate of 80 kilojoules per hour. If the heat pump under these conditions ha has a COP of 2.5, determine the power consumed by the heat pump and the rate at which heat is absorbed from the cold outdoor. Now, the difference, again, between your fridge and uh, your uh, heat pump is the heat pump is maintaining the temperature, so adding energy, and uh, the fridge is removing energy from a system. So in this case, the, the thermodynamic, um, the spontaneous thermodynamic reaction is to lose heat to the atmosphere. So you want to prevent that by putting work in. So you remove heat from outside, which is two degrees Celsius, uh, minus two degrees, you're removing heat and adding it to, uh, to your house. So you're effectively cooling down the entire world. And we'll get to entropy uh, on the next lecture. And